you've probably heard of toxic algae outbreaks, also known as harmful algal blooms. And you may have even seen one. They look like this. Pretty gross, right? Here's what you need to know about this scummy goo showing up in waterways across the country. First, the appearance of toxic algae outbreaks can vary a lot. But imagine chemical looking, stinky slime floating on the surface of a river, lake, or ocean, and you get the general idea. The most important thing to know is that these outbreaks can be dangerous. Getting in and sometimes even near water where there's a toxic algae bloom can make people and pets sick. We're talking nausea, sore throat, rashes, vomiting, diarrhea, flu-like symptoms, and even liver damage. And toxic algae blooms have shown up all over the country. In fact, there have been hundreds of blooms in every state since 2010. But what exactly are they and why are they so dangerous? Well, first of all, algae blooms aren't technically algae. They're actually a type of bacteria. The bacteria can suck all the oxygen out of the water, creating a dead zone where nothing can grow, which sets up a chain reaction that's devastating for anything living in or near the water. But the real problem is the toxins some types of blooms can create, which are poisonous and even deadly for fish, wildlife, humans, and pets. Only a small percentage of blooms are toxic, but those are the ones that can contaminate the local drinking water supply and seafood. Now you may be wondering why you're suddenly hearing a lot about toxic algae blooms. That's because they're becoming more widespread. Scientists are wondering why that's the case, but we do know that toxic algae blooms are usually caused by agricultural pollution, manure, and fertilizer that runs off farms. Changes in the environment from climate change, like warmer water temperatures, and in some areas, heavier rainfall, are probably triggering blooms to start earlier and last longer too. Here's what you can do. Ask your local, state, and federal elected officials to require farmers to do more to protect waterways from farm pollution. And check out ewg.org slash toxicalgae to see a map of blooms in the U.S. and to find out more about toxic algae blooms.